that socket when you come out from under the car eventually. Yep. Can you just put that back in the socket and set up the back there? Yeah, no worries. That's all dropped now up to the cross member. Yeah, and what, does it pull through the cross member? It probably is. Probably will. Okay, so what I do is cut it the other side, this side of the cross member yep. with the angle grinder. That's how I cut it, on an angle. Yeah, so. so which way it goes back together. Yeah, so all the back's intact. Yeah, so then we, if we cut it there, at least we know what orientation it is. I might even just put a joiner in it there. Yeah. No, it's pretty. It's easier to put it back in. Yeah, it's got a massive kink. That kink's pretty bad. Yeah. If you want to straighten the kink to the direction it should be, so that then when I go to bend the line up, I have an idea of what the line's meant to look like. Oh, the clips on it give you the idea. I'll leave them on it. Yeah, but once it's out, if it's got a kink, the kinks, is the kink affecting the shape of it, or is it just no, flattened it? it's just flattened it. Okay, cool. That's fine. All right, I'll grab the angle grinder and cut that off. Okay, okay, you're right, you're right. Okay, get it. Cool. Just trying to, as I go, put things away. Yep. Where is that? <coughs> so happy my shed didn't fly. Yeah, that's a good thing. Like, I've managed to get down here before the really heavy rain set in. Yeah. And um, I cleared all the leaves, leaves out from the side of the shed. That would have been... I would have stopped it. I was quite happy doing it, get inside. Might as well take everything out of the inside. No, not, not take everything out. You can actually see what it is. That can go up on the roof. I'll weld that back in. That's a good bit. So where do you reckon? I reckon cut it back here. On that seam? Yep. Or even past it, so then we can weld through and leave the original seam. And I reckon cut it through here. We'll drop the new floor in. So... You just want to do the entire floor. We'll do the entire floor. So cut this. No, yeah, we'll cut. Oh, that's cut already just below the seam. That's already been. Yeah. Done. Yeah, it's already been bodgy. Yeah. So if we put a whole new floor in. It'll be a better car. <coughs> yep. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. Yeah. Well, there's nothing really else beside that fuel line. I've got to check the brake lines. Yeah. We've got to unpick it off the intermediate cross cross member and off the fuel supports under here. Yeah. So there's like spot welds here. Yep. And it should be. So it's a brake line. No, it's a support. Ah. Oh. Support here, the outrigger that comes off your sill back to here, and there's four spot welds here. And then there's another one that comes across here to support this seat mount, and there's spot welds here and here for it. So do you want me to drill those? We'll have to drill those. There's also. The intermediate cross member across here. But that's been... And that's been welded to here, so we'll yeah. probably hack the rest of the floor out around it. And, and then, then grind, grind that off. Grind it off, yeah. Um, but there will be spot welds that we need to attack yeah. through there. I can start on those. Yep. I think we may need to do a minor repair on the intermediate cross member here. I think there might be a bit of rust. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. No, it's just the floor. Yeah. 
but yeah, if we cut it and then we weld inside, overlap it fractionally and weld inside, then we can actually drop the new floor in on top of the old, the edge of the old one. Yep. And it'll line everything up for us. Cool. All right. I will um, start. You start on, on hacking. Spot, on spot welds. Well, you could just hack all the edges and then, you know, you can cut around those bits if you want to and lift the entire floor out so then you can stand inside there and look at what you're doing. But they won't be supported as well. Mm. So you have to put like a jack underneath it to hold it while you... Yeah. It's up to you. I think I'd try and get the majority of the floor out so then you see what you're left with. Yeah, okay. Just take it out in sections. Oh, you could take the whole floor out in one piece. You could go cut across here, <coughs> straight across there. Mm. And then I would actually cut pretty much right in the seam at the bottom corner here. Yeah. So that then we can cut the other one here. Yeah, and then you just... And then we'll just drop it in on top. Yeah. yeah, okay. And then we'll seam seal it from underneath. And then um, I'd where the, where the supports are, like here, I'd just cut out and around it, that piece. So and then I come back to here and I cut next to there and then you can lift that whole floor pan out. And then do the front. Do the front afterwards. Afterwards, yeah. Yeah. Get this rear section prepped and then we'll get the front <coughs> section prepped. Cool. Because if you get that done, then we can be working on each side. Yeah. All right. If we can get as much out as we can. And then with the other one, what we'll do is we'll actually just, I'll take, we'll take, take to it, cut it with a grind, <coughs> cut off wheels. And then all I'll do is I'll go through the whole lot with the saber saw yep. and we'll lift it out and then we'll start. That's in another car or is yeah. it out? Oh, okay. It's in another car. Yeah. It's actually in that half a car over there. All right. It's got a good floor. Okay. All right. And the good thing is because we're putting a whole floor pan in, it's kind of lucky that we don't have screens in because yeah. you have to put it in through the screen. Oh, no, being a hard top, I think you can go in through the door. Yeah. Through the open aperture. <coughs> Because I know with sedans, you cannot get a, a complete floor pan in unless you go through the windscreens. Yeah, well, that would make sense because yeah. you've got pillars in the way. Exactly. Yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah, familiarise yourself with where the um, braces are and stuff as well. Yeah. So then you don't accidentally cut them and I don't have to weld them back on. Oh, uh, linkage is already off that. Column. Yeah, that's right. It's only the two bolts that hold it on. <coughs> That's what I was saying. On the box, on the steering box? Yeah. Have yeah. you got the spanners for that? Um, yep, that should be a 9 sixteenths and a half. Let's see what I've got. I've got a half. You could probably use a stubby 9 sixteenths for now. So I find mine. You may need to wedge that nine sixteenths. I will find the nine sixteenths at some stage. <laughs> but it's just a matter of putting tools away till there's no more to put away. <coughs> Doesn't help, you've still got things like when we did your charger. Yeah. Right, unpack that. Cool. Okay. I'm going to get you to bring those shelves over too. Yeah. Because that would be handy for the paint bits and pieces that we use.
Sometimes it helps turn the wheel as well. That's what I mean. Yeah. 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 Pull out now, shouldn't it? Um, it? You'll have to undo the floor bolts. You see the floor? You see the floor going the floor there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, now, they usually, from memory, they're a. They look like half inch. <coughs> they do. That's why I'm calling it. It's a half inch. That's that. Have you got the. It's down the back. I'll get it. I'm on this side. Easier. We're gonna get everything to go to the same ready to go to the same glasses, you know? Where that's in the back, is it? Oh there. Just over here. Oh, have you got the extension? Um yeah, it should be able to find. Oh that's right. Because it's manual it'll be more difficult. Yeah. So you've got 
got to turn the nut, the bolts, to, to get it to come off. So turn that one. Can you turn the wheel to the passenger side? That way. Yep. Yeah. See, that just gives me a chance to turn this bolt. That should have now freed that up. And now what needs to happen is coal needs to kind of go up to close the space. I'm just seeing where to cut. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to have a quick look at the other floor and just make sure that we've got what everything we need. Yep. Pretty safe, that's good. Cool. So you reckon, um... So I cut right on the line. Right on that line? Yeah, just below that line. All that's, the way over? Yeah, that's how I do it. But you only want to, you don't want to cut up the side, you want to cut kind of at the bottom of the... Yeah. The cradle part, so then we can drop the other floor pan in. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And that leaves us, because we can only get to about here to cut the other one off. Because mm. you're cutting higher, it's spot welded to the inner sill. Yeah. Okay, so about I cut I cut it right like kind of right in the bottom of the, the U shape. Yeah, along there. Okay. Yeah. Try and try and just keep the grinder in the bottom, very bottom of where it curves, and up here just kind of pick a line that you're going to cut, remembering that we can drop it on top of this if we have to. Mm. So you could cut right on there, but problem is. Cut the other floor, there's spot welds through here. Yeah. See the spot welds there? There? Mm. It'll be a pain in the ass. Yeah. I reckon we're better off, you know, coming in a little bit because there's nothing wrong with that. And who cares about that? If it needs a little patch there, we'll do a little patch. Mm. Just cut through it. If it needs a couple of little patches in the new floor pan, we'll do a couple of little patches. It's going to be a lot easier than trying to repair this shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, it looked good, but the more you look at it, the worse it looks, doesn't it? Well, as far as everything else looking better, yeah, it just looks worse. Yeah. 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 Alright. Okay. Oh, there. They're the bolts. Yes. 
You got the grinding, did you get more grinding wheels? I got heaps of cutting wheels. Cool. Yeah. All in sort of 12 pack in. So, oh, cool. I think there's about 10 left. 11 left. And here's one. Alright. Um, I would use the quarter grinder. Yeah, so I'm Just uh, um, pour this and just, it'll just chew up batteries. Where's the bolts for this, do you know? The bolts for There was one. only one, wasn't there? Yeah. Only one actually came out. Of the four? Yeah. No, it's, um, three did. What's that one? Is that just stuck in there? I think so. That was just, um... What is that? Yeah. What's that? They're yeah, the wrong bolts. Yeah. They're all mismatched. I'll put the correct ones back in. I can't rip them out of my car if I have to. I might even have them in here, looking at this. Can't wait to put all the rust bits together in a pile. <laughs> and I'll go, there's what's left, what was came out of the hard top. No, I don't want to advertise that. Which you can understand. Yes. People would freak out if they saw how much we cut out of it. Just cut that piece down. Just cut that piece down. Just leave it and you can cut that one out. I didn't realise you were recording. No, that's alright. Don't tell me these things. Me, nah, it's all right. All good.
look a little harder than it needs to be. So if you watch what I do, you'll yeah. see. You, you get the grinder in the groove, yeah. and then you follow it. Oh, yeah. The grinder, as long as you, you look ahead, you'll be able to see up there, yeah. and you just kind of line it up the best you can. It'll it'll run run along the, it, it will want to typically run along it, as long as you don't kick it over too much. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so that plate, if you cut, cut along that plate, yeah. and then across the back, there, I'd just go the whole way across yeah. here, up there, and then up there. Kind of gives you an idea. Yeah. The end of this plate's out further than that one. I've just marked the floor so it makes it much easier. Um, oh, I think you're hitting the weld, that's why. You're cutting right on his weld. Yeah. It's a big booger weld too. It is. Mm. I'd probably cut more in here. And if we have to, we'll beat the floor out to match the other one. Cool. Because that way we can cut the booger weld off and I'll make the join needle. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about cutting on there because the cross members are out here. 
Yeah. And mine's like just kind of slide across the here then. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Do you want me to mark where the cross member is? See where that weld is? Yeah. It's just past that weld. So the cross member is right there, you'll be alright. Cool. But don't follow my line because I'm at an angle that way. Yeah. And probably go over the other side or go up here and kind of work out where it is up here. So that, that should be a spot weld that was holding it. So I'd say there would be where you cut because that's the two spot welds. Mm. So if you cut through there, you should be good. Cool. Yeah, it kind of gives you an idea because the spot welds are torn up. Yeah. Uh, back on. I did a screwdriver. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, shit. What? Oh, shit. What? There's some fucking. I forgot about the double panel over here. It's a pain in the ass. It's a real pain in the ass. I completely forgot about it. I can't have any hacks except for Okay, just there. Okay. Alright, it's fine. We've got it. I'm coming. There's one spot that's holding. Uh, the uh, cordless one's Yeah, this is a fresh Flintstone car. Well, it was before, it's just you couldn't <laughs> see it as much. Yeah. Okay. All right. I nicked the exhaust. Hey? I nicked the exhaust. What exhaust? Oh, no. Sorry. It, no, it wasn't the exhaust. Sorry, it was the... Uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not a problem. Yeah. That won't. That won't hurt anything. No. Those bushes are so thick. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so I might drill those spot welds. Yep. All right. Yeah, that sounds good to me.